I'm not trying to be rude, but Amy just kind of looks like Sonic wearing a wig and a dress here. I mean, can you see it if you look really close? Hello everybody, I'm Garilla64 and welcome back to Sonic Fan Games. Today we've got Sonic the Faded Hour. Now this is a demo for a fan game that came out back in 2008, and I don't believe it's being worked on anymore, but one of the cool things that I saw about this before I turned it on was that you have the ability to pick like these custom presets for the demo that give you different abilities. So there's normal, which enables wall kicks, grinds, roll disengage, and gives you an invincibility item that you can use later. You have Sonic 3, which just gives you the insta-shield and an acceleration up. And you have Speed, which increases your top speed, gives you the Sonic Dash, gives you the wall kick, and gives you a speed choose item. The rest of these are locked, and I'm not sure if you can unlock them in this demo. But this kind of reminded me of the thing in Sonic Generations where you could equip the different abilities, except, like, making you vastly different. Like, it's kind of like that in Generations, except if every ability was as vastly different as Classic Sonic's homing attack you could unlock. So I'm going to go through with, I think, one or two of these, just depending on how long the level takes, and we'll see where that leaves us, because there is just one level in the demo. So first we have Dry Savannah, which is basically just, uh, it's, uh, what's the level called in Sonic Unleashed? I don't know, it's the same music. It's, um, it's not Adabat, is it? Adabat's Jungle Joyride, right? It's, uh, ooh, I can't remember off the top of my head. That's, that's my bad. But, um, something Savannah Citadel? Uh, uh, no, I don't think that's what it's called, right? Is it? I don't remember. Whatever, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna... It's gonna hurt me if I keep trying, so I'm just going to stop. So, we have the usual Sonic Spin Dash. We have, you know, like, some really decent running sprites. It's some... I don't know why Sonic's got green shoes, but he's looking more modern than usual. Vector? Oh, okay. I... Sonic! I didn't expect to meet you here. You should be careful. It's monsoon season. Flash floods can happen in an instant. You could drown. Oh no, crocodiles have natural swimming ability, but you don't get to high ground quickly. Oh, new mission. All right, so we got missions. The water is rising. Get to high ground before you drown. Okay, Vector. I will uh, do a wall jump, maybe. Yeah, okay. So oh, jeez. Sonic, you gotta pull through here. So, um, I don't know how high of ground he wants me to get to, but I'm gonna just keep going. I'm gonna jump for my life. That- I- I need to go down now, though. What do you want me to do? Oh no! I'm going to fail my mission! <laughs> and I just got it! Oh no! Alright, hold on, maybe I can still make it up to a higher ground from this way. Oh jeez, also this is running on, uh, an alpha build of Sonic Worlds, which is kinda neat. Like, I've played a lot of Sonic World's fan games, but, uh, never one in the alpha, I don't believe. Alright, so this makes the level vastly different, I would assume, and maybe brings much needed rain to this area, because it looks a little arid. And now that elephant is free, he no longer has to drown with me. I'm glad they at least put little bubble patches here and there, because, like, that's a welcomed addition when I'm trying to remain alive. Hello. Thank you very much. Nice and quick service, too. I like it. Yes! High ground! You'll never win now, Tails. I have the high ground. Oh, I thought it was a bubble shield. I was like, yes, that would do nicely. Mission clear. 50 rings. You should be safe from the floodwaters here. Thank goodness. That was really cool. I wonder if there are more missions to see. I'm gonna try to take a different route next time I go through the level. Alright, so that was really quick. So I think I'll have time to do the others here. I mean, there are only two more. So we've got Sonic 3 here, so insta-shield and acceleration up, and that's it. We can't wall jump out of the ocean this time. And you know, that wasn't the ocean, that was floodwaters, according to Vector, and that's terrifying. If this region experiences such bad flash flooding like that, I would never live here. And you know, to be honest, I would never never live here anywhere. Uh, I'd never live here anyway. Let me just stumble over that sentence real quick. Because it looks way too hot. I don't do well in, uh, you know, hot climates. I, I, will, I will just melt into a puddle on the floor like the Wicked Witch of the West and I don't want that and I know a lot of other people don't want that because you know it'd be a real pain to clean up just ugh not gonna be a fun time so alright so we are just like super handicapped here 
because uh, we don't have the new nifty move they give us. Uh, apparently this moves, uh, this move that they give you is basically just you, you're able to uncurl when you're in the air. And they let you do that. I can still do it, even though it said I can't. Okay. I could have sworn that was on the abilities list, but maybe it's that, like, taking it away wasn't implemented yet. But if you uncurl in the air, you're able to grind on rails and do other things that require you to be uncurled or something? I, I didn't see any rails in this level, but we could have just missed them, because, I mean, this is a big enough level with... I, I don't know, it looks like there's enough places to go. I mean, there's some exploration involved. Hello there. Goodbye there. And I can't seem to enter houses. I don't think we're going that far with exploration. Because that would be a bit ridiculous. But uh, this is an area where I could have wall jumped up. And hey, look at that. There's a rail. But I assume you need to be at a certain point on the rail to use it. Kind of like Sonic Advance. Let's see if I can go find the beginning of that rail. And I'll try to jump on there and grind. The spin dash sound effect is really loud. It's one of those games where it's like the sound effects just get like ten times louder than the actual game. Wait, was rail grinding an ability? I think rail grinding was an ability, wasn't it? Oh, that's a shame. I found one, we can't even use it, but that's fine. You know what, let me go back this way real quick. I want to see if there's any other NPCs around, because, I mean, do you think Vector's the only one in the entire level? Because, yeah, I could see him being the only one, but I feel like it'd be cool to include a couple just to show what the game's actually made of, you know? If I come across Vector again, though, I'm definitely not talking to him because he summoned the rainwaters just by saying it. And that's terrifying. He's some kind of rain god. This game has a great sense of speed, though. I, I really like how it controls. I don't know, the, the uncurl thing seems pretty neat, but uh, I feel like if you play with, you know, the Sonic 3 playstyle and you're, you're missing the other things, you might be having less of a fun time. But I guess, you know, since there's so much customization, it seems, or there would have been, you can kind of put a little uh, loadout together depending on what suits your playstyle, which I've mentioned before in fan games, and I just really like it when games let you do that, because, you know, maybe I do like wall jumping a lot, and it helps me get to where I need to go, but I also like the insta-shield. I'm sure I could probably equip both of those at the same time if I were to be able to make my own custom loadout. Or maybe you don't like any of that stuff, and you want to just have Sonic running around on his own two feet, which in which case you can totally do that. Alright, and one last romp. We have, uh, what was it? Hold on a second. Wait a minute. I saw something out of the corner of my eye as I blazed past it. What is this? Oh, it's Amy in the shop. Hold on, what does this have to do with anything? Hi there, please buy something. Please. Oh, shoot. Everything's out of stock. Amy, buy something, will ya? I can't. I need to leave, Amy. What is happening with the sound... Oh, gosh. <laughs> Amy, e eject. Alright, I'm not sure what Amy was offering me there besides, I don't know, some kind of, like, prison. I could not escape from her power. She was just too strong. But, uh, this is the Sonic Speed preset. It says you got a thing called Sonic Dash. And unless you're talking about Sonic pulling out his, uh, his Android phone to, uh, play Sonic Dash while he's running, I don't really know what they mean, because I've pressed all the buttons and nothing's happening. And I... Oh, we unlocked the loadout. Alright, hold on, I want to check out what that does. This is interesting, there's a lot of things to find, I like that. And it's not, like, as intrusive as Sonic CD, because you can just run right to the end and still feel pretty, like, fast and... like you're not being bogged down by anything, whereas, if, you know, in Sonic CD, you kind of... You're at the mercy of Wacky Workbench when you're in Wacky Workbench. You know, you can't not explore because you're forced to. And that was not the start of a forces joke. Do not make any of those in the comments section. I will be very upset. Oh heck, alright, so I guess I unlocked Super Sonic when I found that thing hidden in the wall. So who needs the Chaos Emeralds? With power conversion, players can transfer into Super Sonic whenever they choose. But instead of feeding off ring energy, Super Sonic will feed off the player's power meter making it much more difficult to maintain the supersonic form. I thought it was going to be like, it feeds off the player's life force. If you die in the game, you die in real life. Wait, I've got a boost all of a sudden, okay. When did that happen? Hey, <laughs> I was not made aware of this, hold on. Okay, uh, there must be something I can do to figure this out. Okay, I'm super now, but I'm only going to be super for 10 seconds, okay. Gotta build up the power meter real quick and see where this takes us, because I am 
insanely curious, and I don't know which button that was, but we can figure it out pretty quickly, I assume. Sonic, come on, transform, my boy. Maybe I gotta lose the shield. No, I wanna destroy the shield. I don't wanna... I don't wanna destroy all that are, is around me. Come on. There's a time for violence, and there's a time for fast, and this is the time for fast. Thank you. There we go. It's just double A tap. Of course it is. And I've lost all my power. Immediately. Why? Okay, so wait a minute. I'm not quite understanding how this works. Do I lose power just gradually? Or does maybe it take like a full power meter to turn into Super Sonic? And then afterwards you just need to maintain it? Like that's... That is a, a tad ridiculous. Or maybe uh... No, I can do it any time. Huh. That is super weird. Maybe uncur- does curling and uncurling cost power? Or does the, the transformation itself- No, it doesn't cost anything. Alright, well... That's strange. Oh man, yeah, they weren't kidding. That is very tough to maintain. <laughs> I don't even think I'm gonna be uh, able to have enough power to really show that off in this video, because he just keeps draining so quickly. I didn't mean to do that. That was a complete mistake on my part. I can already tell, trying to use the wall jump and having this enabled would have been a huge problem. <laughs> Alright, well, he's supersonic. What do you want me to say about it? He, he goes faster, he jumps higher, he, he floats along the ground like a boss. I don't, I don't, he thinks he's even better than everyone else than he usually does, so... That's pretty much all I got for you. That was Sonic the Faded Hour. Pretty cool fan game. Like the other stuff I've been checking out lately, it's a shame it didn't really get finished, unless it is still being worked on, but, you know, ten years ago, it's kind of a long time. Alright, so that's gonna be everything I wanted to show off for today, so if you like this video and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell, follow my Twitter, and join the Discord to keep up with more Sonic fan games and other things that aren't Sonic fan games, because I do a lot of things. I'd also like to give a big ol' thank you to my current sponsors, Penguin Boy, Debt, Beatly72, Darkbond179, Darkbond Livestreams, RandomGamer157, SilvaPhD, Roscoe13, Henry S, Rob Morrison, Dave Ace, Beyond, Drawbits, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Medic, Mega Traffic Cone, Knuckles Channel 3, and Knuckles Creative, and Mike TGC. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring. It really means a lot, and if you have any interest in becoming a sponsor yourself, please make sure to check out the link in the description for more information and all the benefits. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.